Get out of this place, huh? Here, Sid. Why do you think I'm doing everything that I'm doing, Philip? Why do you think I wanted to marry you? Those are a lot of questions. Well, there's, there's an answer. I, I want us to make a family together, you know, you, me, and Emma. We owe it to her, you know, and, and we can do this. If I don't screw it up. You won't screw it up, right? Unless you insist on speaking about her or her signals and handshakes, okay? This isn't a game. Oh, I know. We have to handle this ourselves, all right? We have to control what people know and when they know it. Yeah. But, you know, it's just so hard. I know. Because I, I just, I want... But I know. You just want to be a proud daddy and show everyone your little girl. Yes. You will. I promise. You just have to be 100%, right? And you have to do whatever Dr. Langham asked you to. My sentiment exactly. Hey, Doc. I'm feeling spunky today. Look at all the progress I'm making. Yes, yeah, so I see. Progress toward what, Philip? <laughs> Organization of my thoughts. Making my mind and my body work together. Isn't that what we've been talking about? Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you, before my, uh, before my confusion, I used to run five miles a day and take 20 calls before lunch. Now, look, I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm back on track. I even did some push-ups today. You, you want to see me do them? No, sweetheart, don't show off, okay? I'm sure that the doctor has a lot of work he has to do. Oh, you know what? That, that reminds me. Um, this could actually take a while. Do you mind? No, not at all. We'll step outside. Yeah, it could take a while. But I am back on track, Olivia, and I promise you, you are going to get what you have coming to you. Oh, those sticky notes on the wall, each one with something scrawled on it. It's like he lost his mind all over again. Oh, no, let's not drama over-dramatize the situation. Is that possible? I mean, he, he was deeply sad before, yeah, but now he looks like a first-rate nutcase. Olivia. What are you people doing? I thought his medication was supposed to level him off. Well, that's my concern, actually. I received some new blood work this morning. There was only a trace of medication in Philip's system. How can there only be trace amounts of medication in his blood system? Not something we have to figure out. No, I mean, I, he's given his pills every day. I've watched him take his medication myself. Maybe you only saw what he wanted you to see. So what are you saying? He's, he's stashing his meds? Seems likely. Oh, no, I... Okay. If he's not taking his medication, if he's not swallowing it, what are we going to do? I could administer it hypodermically. Hypodermically. He's going to think you're treating him like a child. Philip does have control issues. Yeah, no kidding. Why don't we just wait a couple of days, you know, give him some time to realize how important his meds are? No, I'm afraid that waiting a couple of days might set his progress back by months. Philip, can you take a minute and join me in my office? Can I talk you into letting me out of this place? You can try. Okay. I'm your man. Are you staying? Oh, yeah. I will. Okie dokie. Okay. I'll see ya. Bye. This isn't this normal session time, is it? <laughs> Look around, Rick. Do you see anything normal? 
So when did this happen? Last night, today. Have you, have you noticed a change in his behavior? You know, like it's become more exaggerated? Oh, this certainly would qualify, wouldn't it? Yeah. Christopher seems to think that, that he's not taking his medication. He's not swallowing it. What, what would happen if he wasn't on his prescribed drugs? Well, he would ultimately go into a relapse and behave a lot like he did when he first got here. But it wouldn't cause any permanent damage. Well, it certainly wouldn't kill him. But without his medication, there's just no telling how long he would be here. And we just, we just can't allow that to happen, can we, Olivia? We just can't allow him to get stuck in this hellhole. I'm sorry, did I just say we? I meant I won't let it happen. It has occurred to me that you're perfectly fine with Philip just where he is. How can you say that don't, to me? Don't, don't act offended. This is what you want for him. No, you're wrong. I'm his wife. How can you say that? Because I'm catching on to you. I know what you think of me, Rick. I don't trust you. <sighs> because you love Philip. And you think I just married him for, for money and power, right? But you know that I was in love with him long before any of this ever happened. See, the problem with that rose-colored past is Philip's father was also in love with you. I mean, the fact is, you were Alan's wife, right? So what? I tricked him into having no. this affair? No, you were both wrong. But Philip and Alan have moved on as much as possible, which left you out, didn't it, Olivia? And then you managed to get him to marry you in this loony bin, which puts you right back into the game. It's just, it's just funny how things no, work out. No, no, I care about my husband. Yeah, I care about my dog. So what? You care, Olivia. What does that have to do with true love? <sighs> it's not that easy for some of us, Rick. You know what Philip and I meant to each other. You think I was just going to give all that up without a fight? I just don't want to have to fight his best friend. We want the same thing. We want him out of here, and we want a whole man again. Well, you're right about that. So I trust that you will do whatever possible to help him in that process. Hey! Hey! Ranger Rick! <laughs> he always used to hate him when I called him. Hey. Hey. How you doing, buddy? How you feeling? <laughs> Great. <laughs> did some push-ups today. I'm getting back in shape. I did five. Great. I can do five. That's At cool. least. And there's my brain. That's almost as strong. I was telling Christopher here, I've got tons of ideas about how to improve this place. Well, uh, that's that's great, but why don't we uh, go outside and go for a walk and we can talk about it. Okay. Okay. Christopher, you should come. If you'd like. Okay. You too, Olivia. I will. I'll be right behind you. All right. Thank you. 